Cheers guys, we got a hundred subscriber. Second milestone for today is that we are building a TPEMF today. I'm gonna to show you how we did that. So you're gonna be able to use it on your head. We're gonna be able to follow up from last week's video, which is incredible. So you're gonna be able to own one of those things for a fraction of the price that they would cost. You'll be able to do it at home, be able to help your friends and stuff like that. And third milestone of today, I am one step closer to building the ultimate PEMF. And what is that, you may ask? Well, you're gonna have to stay tuned to find out. But today, we're building a T-PEMF. Just like we talked about last video, so we'll be able to apply that knowledge. We're gonna start with the calculator. So the first thing we need to do is get to our calculator. We're gonna be building something new, so we need to run some numbers. We're gonna be using a five volt power pack. And they have a one amp output, and most of them have a one amp and a two amp output, so, but <clears throat> we'll start with that. Okay, we're gonna be using 22 gauge wire. We're gonna have three coils in the series, and then just one series. They're 50 mil, which is perfect, because that's the coil diameter. That's what we're gonna be using, 50 mil. And I believe I do 200 wraps. Yep, there you go. So it gives us 100%. Now with a battery, you don't have to worry about that, because that is fine. With a power supply, we would be burning it up. With a battery, it'll never give you more than what it can, and it's fine to give out 100% the way it is. If we had a two amp output, then they would would be using 50% of what the battery can do. So, but for batteries, that's fine. Let's go to Gauss calculator. I entered the data already. So here's the diameter of our coil, 0 0.005 uh, meter are 200 reps and then one amps gives us 50 gauss per coil i can't wait to go build that and then we're going to measure this and then we're going to find out if uh, how close we are all right so let's go do that okay let's make a coil same old 200 reps for this one like we did in the calculator I'm going to get it out tape the four corners and then wrap it up i want to take this time as you watch me doing this to uh you know take away from the theatrical of making YouTube videos and all that stuff. I didn't think we were going to get 100 subs. I didn't think I would get 100 people interested in watching this. So it's pretty amazing. I want to thank you guys for that. Another thing I want to talk about today and well before. See I'm burning the end? You got to do that. You got to sand them down, burn them, clean them up. You got to expose the copper so you can make a clean connection. I want to briefly talk about why PAMF works. We're going to talk that much later in, uh, in the video series, but I'm going to touch on that today. You see the arrow right there? That wire in between the coils, that's a mistake. I ended up, after it was all done, uh, watching the video, I realized that I did that, so I took the whole thing apart, cut those wires off. You need a flexible wire between the coils. These magnet wire don't like to be folded, they break. They break all the time. It's just a matter of time and then they will break. So what you see right there is wrong. You need a flexible wire in between the coils, just the way I showed in other video. So the pulsing EMF does not fix your body. That's not what fixes your body. What that does is it rebalance the immune system. The immune system is a really complicated system you have in your, uh, in, in your body. And that's what regulates the um, inflammation. Inflammation is 90 or 80 percent of the problem the human body has most of the time from arthritis to autoimmune disease to like name it, it's there. The immune system is in charge of all that stuff. So by rebalancing your immune system, you can get rid of chronic inflammation which allow your body to heal itself. Okay, here I'm just using a yoga mat and I decided the width that I needed and yes, I'm left-handed. And just go ahead and cut it off. And then I use my glue gun, and I put the straps, I have some straps and some clips, and I secure them in place so I can strap this uh, portable pan for on my waist, my shoulder, etc. cetera. Um, I came back from the doctor today, uh, a year ago, I was supposed to have surgery on my shoulder because I had a rotator cuff injury and the tendons were disconnected basically from I, I had 90% of it was coming apart, so the doctor wanted to do surgery. So I did everything right. I didn't do the surgery. I did the physiotherapy. 
I did exercise, I protected it, and I used my portable pan, the exact same as what you're seeing right here, on my shoulder once or twice a day, uh, pretty consistently. And I just got my result today and I'm, I'm good. I don't need surgery, everything is fine. I got no pain anymore, everything is good. So I glue this thing down and now here I'm just literally I uh, got my little box and I'm just tweaking it so it fits good. Now I'm just cutting the two hands for the strain relief for the power coming in from the battery and the other one for the, the um, connection to go to the coils. I like to use two sides sticky tape and I glue the battery onto the back of the box. Nothing special. Uh, you'll see me putting like three wraps so there's, you know, it's just everywhere cutting it good nothing nothing too too complicated so the PMF wave square wave is king remember that rebalance your immune system that's gonna be the biggest gain that most people are gonna get people ask me can I get fixed with PMF and um, the thing is you know everybody's different so it's something that uh, we'll talk in detail more later, but just know that there's a good chance in my work, right? Um, this is a USB cord that I use, and that USB cord needs to be stripped down. I know that the red and black on this one is the power. They're a slightly bigger gauge too, so you can feel it. I have my meter and I check them out first. And then, but I knew this one was black and white for the power. And now you're gonna see me stripping it and then putting it into the power input plus and minus of the ZKPP2K. And then I plug it into my battery, turn it on, play, and I just check that it's working. And I'm pretty happy it's working. By the way, you can plug that into a cigarette lighter uh, plug-in that you got in your truck for charging your phone. You can plug that into a computer. So it's really versatile that way. You can plug it in any USB. Now I'm gonna check the, look at that beautiful square wave that it creates, right? This is why I like this unit. It's solid. Oh, here's my puppy. Yeah, she woke up and she joined me. She's awesome. So, PMF rebalances your immune system. So to answer the question, can PMF heal me? Well, if you didn't have this, whatever condition you're having right now when you're younger, that's a positive. If you uh, if the body can heal itself, then PMF can help you. That's basically a short answer of it. So now I'm just connecting the, uh, the coils. This is my uh, wire that goes to the portable PEMF mat, basically, and I just connected it in that. You can see in the back. And now I'm closing everything up. Nothing too mysterious there either. And now, remember we said um, we the formulas like was saying 50 gauze um, we didn't reach 50 gauze I didn't think we would like 22 gauze on this test and another test I think I'm getting 28 gauze yeah 28.8 if you look at the screen I think at one point I got 29 too but so basically it's safe to say that they're about 25 gauze per coil right which for the head TPMF according to all the research they're using 20 gauze so it's perfectly balanced now you see me playing with my magnet I always enjoy that put my magnet there and it just kind of plays around. I was hoping it would entertain the dog and make her kind of look around, but she didn't care much about the noise that it was making. And here's the final product. Um, it's nice and clean, it's beautiful, it works well. Nothing too special about it per se, but you can build one of those for pretty cheap. And if you don't know how, you don't feel that you have the know-how, just let me know. I'm gonna put the email in the uh, in, in the description there that way you can reach us. That's my cat Tallulah. So we just finished building a T-Pemph. If you have a headache, you can put it on your head. It helps lots. Depending where your migraine is, you just need to move the the T-Pemph where you need to be. For anxiety and depressions and everything, like we talked about the last video, put them on your front lobe right here and right there. And then you can also bump it up to a thousand hertz for 45 minutes and then just go for it. Um, according to the research, it looks like it's something that has a huge potential. This portable unit 
Um, the beauty about it, about using the USB cord, you can plug it into any USB device. So you don't need, like the battery is good if you don't have any power with you, but if you're in the car, for example, and like me using it on my shoulder, I just plug it into the adapter, cigarette lighter, uh, phone charger. Uh, or if your vehicle comes pre-equipped with it, just plug it in there. And as you drive, you can do it that way. You can put it on your neck, like I had neck injuries and it was perfect. Um, I use it on my neck, use it on my shoulder. My wife uses it on her knee. So in Canada, they put a pamph on your bones, on your skin, basically, if after six weeks, your fusion hasn't happened properly. It's not covered by the medical health system, that technology, by the way. So I spend 18 hours a day with that pamph around my waist, on my ribs, basically, and my lower back. And uh, the middle of week three, I was back riding horses. So like it works i was talking to my dad about it which is a retired uh, person in the medical field and he told me the floating ribs are extremely painful when they break i've broken many ribs before but just never my floating ribs and that was i had no pain like well i did have pain but compared to what broken ribs are i had no pain so long story short this is a really good unit my wife um had a swollen knee because of horse injury and uh, the doctor was going to drain her knee and she put that portable pamph on her knee and the swelling went away like all the water and everything went back to normal in two days so once again does it work yes does it work for everybody no nothing does um if your body can heal itself pamph can help you if it's a condition you did not have when you're younger pamph can potentially help you too so it's a really good system to assist next week I'm currently building a very special PEMF bed and controller for a friend of mine and it's going to be pretty wicked so we're going to talk about that. I also have a, a mat that I have to fix for mistakes that I did uh, in the past that's coming up in the video and also uh, another troubleshooting of a mat that came back here because something went wrong with it. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime Thank you for being here, be safe, and we'll talk to you soon.